This movie, I knew nothing about it. I saw the poster, saw eggs on it, saw the title was called Scrambled, and I was like, I'm in. Let's go check it out. Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ryan. Today on the channel I'm going to be discussing a comedy film called Scrambled. Now this film it was directed by Leah McKendrick and this is her directorial debut and she also stars as the main character in here named Nellie. The film is about a woman who is in her 30s and after she goes to take a visit to her doctor her fertility is in jeopardy. So she has to make a decision if she wants to keep continuing on or actually freeze her eggs so she can actually have a chance of getting pregnant. With Scrambled, I can say that I didn't have any expectations for this film. When I saw the post, I was thinking this is gonna be probably a serious film, and in which ways it is, but it also is a comedy as well. In the beginning of the film, we are introduced to this character named Nellie. She's at a wedding, her friends are getting married. She is reckless, she's drinking, she's doing drugs, she's doing everything where she's still acting like she's in her 20s and she's partying, everybody is settling down, and getting married and having kids and she's just trucking along doesn't want to settle down and then when she gets the news that she needs to freeze her eggs she's left with this dilemma of like well I don't want kids right now but I also want to protect my fertility as well so she has to make the conscious decision if she wants to freeze these eggs she lives with her mom dad and brother and when she finds out how much this fertility treatment is actually going to cost she tries to go to her brother to get some money as she's an entrepreneur and she really just does stuff by like doing jewelry on Etsy. So she's not making a lot of money, but she has to constantly hear the hounding from her father of when she's gonna get pregnant because he's getting older and he wants a grandchild. And then he thinks that she's still with this guy and she's like, no, we broke up. And she has a hard time really settling down on a relationship. So she goes out on this quest to hit up guys that she's hooked up with before. Every time she goes to meet these guys, they're not interested in being with her. They just wanna hook up and be done with it. And and she gets really frustrated and fed up with this and has a really hard time coping with trying to connect with someone and have that relationship. Towards the beginning of the film, I can really understand why the audience would not like Nellie's character. Obviously, she's very reckless and she doesn't know how to settle down. He's really just hitting up these guys and expecting to get into a serious relationship and these guys are just blowing her off and like, no, we're gonna hook up and then we're not gonna have anything serious. So she goes through a lot of different guys and one in particular where she really liked this guy who was the prom king. And so when she actually meets up with him and gets with him, she then finds out that he cheated on his wife. A lot of people in their 30s, if they are single, they are having trouble really coping with it because they see a lot of other people within their peers of like high schoolers in that circle, they're all having kids and they all have these successful lives with a job. And that's what she's seeing around her. So she's really hit rock bottom during that time. I really felt like they really dived into her as a character and really developed her a lot more where you felt sorry for her in a way even though she had made some poor decisions you can really tell that she's trying to make that change take that step forward just kind of get into the groove of like hey I need to get my life together I need to do better for myself I need to get out of this house and I need to have a child and have a serious relationship so she really tries to turn that around there's also a point in the film where they show someone that she really liked it's the one that got away it's something that a lot of us can really experience I really like how this film it really dove into like the meat and potatoes of a relationship and what you have to really do to really actually earn that but it also really delves into people that are in their 30s and they may have not found their person yet but there's also people around those ages that are still fooling around and not taking it serious didn't have a cliche ending I was thinking to myself okay I know exactly what's gonna happen here and it didn't go that route there's a certain situation that happens that they dive into of somebody in her past and I was like okay I'm glad they went this route and really really got you into the emotion of the character and what she was feeling and when they get to that point and we get closer to the end I was completely satisfied with the ending and I felt like the character here 
she really developed as a character and you can really tell that she was very much maturing so i feel like you're on the ride for this character that necessarily is immature for her age and really needs to shape up and really develop that maturity and i think throughout this film she definitely finds that maturity and finds a way to really just step up and be like you know what i really got to be an adult here i have to grow up I got to get out of these bad habits and I've got to do what's right for me and really get onto a path that is a little bit more straight and not crooked. And even past the halfway point, there were definitely points in this film where I felt the emotion of the character. I felt a little bit of teary eyed for the character. And when a film can actually do that, it definitely brings that emotions out of you. And that's what a film should do. It should move you. It should give you emotion towards that character. The comedy I thought was on point in this film, certain parts, it was a little bit raunchy, but not too raunchy. I think it stayed on the path of that comedy. It didn't really change directions within that that comedy I like that they balanced out emotion comedy drama everything in between this film and I had a fun time with this film it definitely had its serious moments and it definitely had its moments where it brought out the emotion and did a really good job of contrasting and comparing a lot of those different emotions throughout the film and making you feel through each act that it really was building and maybe at first you didn't care for that character but you were on the journey with that character so I really did enjoy the fact they did a really good job of just keeping you engaged and keeping you feel like okay what's gonna happen next is it gonna end this way what's she gonna do and that's really what made me think about this film throughout each process of each act. Overall, it's a solid film. It has educational purpose to it. It is very informative, and I felt like I was on a journey the entire time with this character, and it definitely changed my mind towards the end of the film of this character, and I'm glad that it really did a good job of balancing out different emotions and the different genres. I think it did a dash of everything in here that I definitely enjoyed, and I can say that this is a film that I would watch again and I could say that I recommend it as well. I would give it a three and a half out of five, a pretty solid film overall. Are you guys going to check out this film? If you have not checked it out, are you going to check it out on streaming, at the theater, or if you have checked it out, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? Leave any and all comments down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next video.